everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Tonko Floor One S7 Steam. This is a smart cordless steam floor washer. Tonko did send me this product, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this item or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging. Pier 140 degrees Celsius steam. We have more information down here about the steam as well as how it's able to self clean. You'll see additional features on this side, smart features on this side, up to 40 minutes runtime. They even show you all the included contents. And then we're back to the front. And again, just to make this clear, this can steam, this can sweep, this can mop and vacuum all in one. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up we have our instruction guide and manual with customer service and contact information. This walks you through everything you need to know about your new floor cleaner, from how to select and operate, different mode settings, accessories, tech specs, product overview, warranty information. This does come with a two year warranty. Next you'll find the power supply with barrel plug connector. This plugs into the back of the charging station that you have right here with built-in storage. We have an extra washable filter. We have a cleaning brush and an extra brush roller. You'll see the unit places on here, charges up right there, self cleans. We have the handle for our floor cleaner with our controls right there and our self clean up at the top. Additional product info right there to register. This will just snap in place, has Tyneco's logo and branding on it. And then lastly, you'll see the floor washer itself. Let's look at this in more detail. On the top of the unit, you'll see our display right here with all the different icons that will illuminate depending on the mode, battery percentage, Wi-Fi, all of that. We also have our hole right here to attach the handle that will snap in place. We'll look at it from the front, Tyneco's logo and branding, dirty water tank here. This just undoes itself like that. Just grab it and pull out. Max indicator, letting you know when it's full. Here's that washable filter. This is the one already included, but we can easily remove that as needed. And then we can gently pull the whole thing out so we can empty and wash out and let it dry. Now we'll look at the unit with that removed. Get a feel for that. And then this just snaps right back in place to line it up and then it'll snap right in like that. Side profile, other side profile. We'll look at the very back. We have a little mute button here if you don't want any voice control. We have our clean water tank with a very clever design. You don't need a really tall or deep sink to use this. Since it's horizontally filled, very small, which is great. So depending on your sink size or faucet, you should be able to get that in there. They have your instructions here. Please fill in tap water only. No chemical solutions. Max all the way to the top. There's a look at the backside with it removed. And then this just snaps right in place. Now we'll look at the very bottom from the front. Tyneco's logo and branding. We can go ahead and pop this off. Take a look at the insides there and our already installed roller. And then this will just snap right back on. Look at it from the front right there. And then we'll flip it to the very bottom so you can see what it looks like underneath with the roller, our wheels, two smaller wheels right there. But there you go, there you have it. Now let's go ahead, let's get this set up. Setup is simple and straightforward. We just have to attach the handle. It's only gonna fit one way. So you want this pointed out over the unit, right? It's gonna go just like this. So line it up with the hole and then just gently press it in place. You'll hear it snap. So there we go, just snapped in. And now we have our unit all set up. Plug it into the charger, let it charge up. Then you just have to fill it up to the top with tap water and then you'll be ready to use it. So let's go ahead, let's charge it up, fill it up and try it out. Auto mode, mode, boot steaming mode. All right, so I wanted to see how hot everything gets on here. We have the unit running right now in the max steam setting. Nice and toasty in there. And then the steam spot on the floor. That's the steam coming out. Looks like around up to 100 and 
16 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take. About 64, 65 degrees Fahrenheit without the steam going over it. So the key takeaway is gonna be right at that center in between basically the two releases for that front cover. That's gonna be where your steam's gonna be and where you want to make sure you're going over your stubborn stain is the very center of the unit to make sure you're applying all the steam and the hottest heat that you can. Here's a look at the brush roller after first use and clean. Pop that open. Rotate it all the way around. Looks as good as new. Dirty water tank channel right there, a little bit of debris. Flip it over to the back side. Got a little bit of debris in there as well to just rinse out and wipe down periodically. Everything looks great. That clean with that steam really allows this to look seriously brand new. Maybe you noticed it, maybe you didn't, but a little bit of hair built up down there at the bottom. So again, you'll just wanna wipe that periodically as well. So. How does the Floor One S7 Steam stack up against the competition? We'll be comparing it not only within Tyneco's own lineup, but also compared to the overall average of all wet dry vacs that we've personally tested. Now, this is the first one with steam, so it definitely gets some extra points in that regard because cleaning wise, you're gonna be hard pressed to find a better floor cleaner because that steam does a great job actually helping to break down those stains so then you can just mop and vacuum them right up. So first up, we're looking at rated power. This is measured in watts. This unit has a 240 watt rated power. Tyneco's average is only 226, which is neck and neck with the overall average of 228. 
with this stat, the higher this value is, the more powerful your unit will be. Next, let's talk about decibels. This is how loud the unit will be. This is your max decibel readout. This unit got a score of 80 decibels compared to Tonko's average of 78. Now, personally, when you're using this side by side with another Tonko that's only 78 decibels versus 80, there's not really gonna be any distinguishable difference between those two values. And you see the average is only 76 decibels. With your wet dry vac, you'll be hard pressed to notice any difference. I think that just truly is due to the steam and the heating mechanism versus anything else because it looks and feels and operates just like your typical wet dry vac. So the good news here is it is technically louder on paper, but in a real world environment, you're going to be hard pressed to notice. Moving right along, let's talk about battery life. This is measured in minutes. This unit has a 40 minute battery life. That is Tyneco's brand average and that's about four minutes above the overall average. Now, real world, you'll be hard pressed to see these results if you're using steam. It really depletes the battery very quickly. And next we have our battery capacity. This is how we get that runtime that we just talked about. So this is measured in milliamp hours. The larger your battery capacity, usually the longer your unit's going to run. Tonko has some of the larger batteries in wet dry vacs, which just speaks to their quality as well as their power and everything else. You need that extra juice, especially if you're gonna be using the steam functionality. So this has a 3,900 milliamp hour battery capacity, 200 milliamp hours more than the overall average Average, which is the same as our average tested of 3,700 milliamp hours. Next, we have our clean water tank measured in milliliters. The larger this value, the more water your tank is gonna hold, which means you're refilling it less. This has an 800 milliliter clean water tank. Tonko's average is 767 milliliters, so we are above average there. And we're basically neck and neck right at the overall average tested of 796 milliliters. I personally like to see even a larger clean water tank capacity for this unit because chances are you're using it to steam. So you wanna take advantage of having as much water as you can as possible. And we can't forget about the dirty water tank measured in milliliters. This unit has a 720 milliliter dirty water tank. Same thing, the larger this tank is, the less often you will have to go and empty it out. Don't forget too, guys, after you finish every clean, you must empty that dirty water tank. If you don't, it will stink. And honestly, you won't be able to get that stink out after a while, it like permeates into the plastic. So go ahead, don't forget, you want to empty out your dirty water tank every time you clean. So substantial amount of extra milliliters compared to Tyneco's brand average. If I'm doing some quick math, that's about 30, or excuse me, 50 extra milliliters. And compared to the overall average, we're about 80 milliliters higher. Love seeing that you want those larger, clean and dirty water tanks. And last but not least, let's talk about the cost of our S7 Steam. How does it stack up against Tyneco's own product lineup? Well, if you're unfamiliar with Tyneco, they do have multiple wet dry vac versions. They have an S3, an S5, and an S7. Obviously, this is the S7 Steam. They also have an S5 Steam you can consider as well. Too. But with where we're at in their product lineup, the uh, greater that number, S3 to S5 to S7, that's gonna be your upper echelon product. So we're in the upper echelon in that S7 series and we have Steam. So that's why you're seeing the price where it's at. It fits and makes sense within their own lineup. Compared to our wet dry vacs, overall average that we've tested, regardless of brand, you'll see we're a couple hundred dollars more. So you are paying a premium for that Steam feature compared to your average vacuum, but you are getting Tyneco's quality, right? And everything else that we looked at in the spec. So it is more expensive as I would argue it should be. And it's really only up to you to decide, is this the right brand for me? Is this the right wet dry vac for me? And do I need to have that steam functionality? So after using the 41S7 steam, let me share with you my final thoughts. Here's what you need to know. If cost is your biggest hurdle and barrier to the S7 steam, if you can live without the cordless design, you'll really appreciate the additional savings that you get with the S7 five steam. I think a lot of you out there will get the best of both worlds. You're not going to break the bank 
and you don't have to worry about the short battery life and you still get steam cleaning functionality. That's where I think most of you might fit if that's your biggest reservation. For those of you out there that do want this product, you want a cordless steamer, you want the S7 series, well, look no further. Obviously, this is gonna be the product for you, but I still think it has a couple of shortcomings. The biggest one gonna be that battery life. If you wanna take advantage of that steam consistently, which I'd argue most of you probably do, because that's why you're buying this, to actually use the steam functionality, it's going to really deplete that battery but you still will be able to use it again you'll just be charging it pretty frequently so i'd be buying this one with the mindset of i'm going to be able to steam some of my floors maybe one day you know do my whole house cleaning then come back the next day steam the other section that sort of thing you might just have to break it up depending on how much space you're trying to cover obviously if you just want to use the wet dry vac functionality great it'll last closer to that 40 minute mark and then maybe you can just use some steam to touch up a couple of tough spots here or there from the pets the kids you spilled something that sort of thing. For me personally, though, I want to see even more steam features. I want more steam literally and physically on the brush roller in a couple different settings that we could really maybe even turn up the heat more. I'd like to see that incorporated in the future. I'm not sure how hot these things can get without damaging your floor, so that's always something that you'd want to keep in mind. I'm asking for more and more and more, but realistically, after X amount of degrees Fahrenheit, David, that's just not a good idea anyways. But for me, I want hotter steam more steam and better battery life with this unit. But it's definitely a good start. It's just expensive for what you're getting, but for some of you out there, it does make sense. And for others, if you can forego the cordless nature of this, pick up the S5 Steam, save a couple of bucks, and still get a great cleaning experience.